Hello and welcome to the Scatterbolt channel and today let me show you how to install Windows on your brand new gaming PC. Step one, get yourself an 8GB or bigger flash drive. This is going to be your Windows bootable media device that you'll plug into your computer when you're ready to boot it up for the first time after building it and this will allow you to install Windows 10 or Windows 11 onto your brand new gaming PC when you first press the power button. So let's go ahead and put in your flash drive into another computer. Here it is, and now let's go ahead and format it, which speaking of, when you format this, it will permanently delete all the files on this flash drive. So keep that in mind. Have a flash drive you're willing to completely erase. So in order to format this, right click on it, click on format, and then here it'll give you the capacity, file system, allocation. You don't need to change any of this, but for allocation unit size, I usually change it back to default just to be safe. Make sure quick format is enabled and hit start. So there you go. Our USB flash drive for our Windows bootable media device is formatted. And now let's go ahead and install the Windows installation media onto it. So let's go ahead and install our Windows bootable media device onto our flash drive. So type in Windows installation media into Google. Click on the topmost link with the support.microsoft.com link. And then here we can either choose a Windows 10 or Windows 11 installation media. For the sake of this tutorial, in order to keep it up to date, we're gonna go ahead and create a Windows 11 installation media device on our flash drive. So go ahead and click on media creation tool here on the bottom left. Go ahead and scroll down, make sure you check all that, hit accept. Here's our language and our edition. We'll go ahead and use the recommended options for this computer. Now let's go ahead and click on USB flash drive because that's what we're installing this to. Let's go to D, which is our USB flash drive. Hit next. And now we're just gonna wait for Windows 11 to finish installing. This should take a little bit, but give it some time. So as you're installing Windows 10 or 11, it'd be nice to have a discounted Windows 10 or 11 key, and I recommend getting it through VIP SD key so you avoid getting that annoying watermark in the bottom right of your screen that says activate Windows. So through VIP SD key, we're gonna go ahead and grab a Windows 11 Pro key, which would be 30 bucks. But if we go ahead and add this to cart, we'll go ahead and proceed to checkout. This would be 30 bucks. However, if we use my discount code VIP scatter, we can get a percentage off our order. So there we got a fat $6 discount. Now we can get a Windows 11 Pro key for only $24. And again, if you wanna check out VIP SD key for any Windows 10 or 11 key, be sure to check the link at the top of the description. So now we're gonna go ahead and purchase this, which I'm unfortunately gonna have to cut off from the camera so you don't see my payment information, but we'll go ahead and grab this key and we'll reuse it when we're ready to install Windows 11 onto our gaming PC. Now let's finally go ahead and do the thing you guys clicked on this video for, which is install Windows onto our fresh new gaming PC. But of course, make sure you have the other things in line for your computer and your monitor and keyboard mouse in check. So have your power supply cable hooked up to the back of your computer, flick the switch on the back of the power supply from the O to the line so it's ready to turn on. Of course, keyboard and mouse, have that ready. Make sure to have the display cable from your monitor plugged in from the monitor to your graphics card, not to where your motherboard is, unless you're using integrated graphics, say if you had a 5600G or 5700G. And then finally, of course, make sure the monitor is powered on so it can actually turn on when you first turn on your computer. And with that, let's go ahead and finally plug this in to the back of our computer, which I'm gonna go with here into one of the USB 3.0 ports. Now let's go ahead and install Windows. So click install now. Here's where you enter your Windows product key. And fortunately, I've already got that one from VIP SD key that I purchased earlier in the day. So now let me go ahead and enter that in. All right, that is all entered in. I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. All right, that looks good. Let me go ahead and hit, uh, I accept license and terms. Next, custom install. Here we're gonna go ahead and select the drive that we're installing our Windows onto, which should be this one. Hit next. And now let's go ahead and wait for this to completely install. So go ahead and choose your country, go ahead and choose your keyboard layouts. Don't need a second keyboard layout. Now with Windows 11, we do have a Wi-Fi chip on this gaming PC. So we're gonna go ahead and connect to the Wi-Fi here. All right, we'll hit next. And again, if you have Windows 10, you wouldn't need to log into your Wi-Fi network in order to install it. So again, like before, if you don't have a Wi-Fi card or Wi-Fi chip on your computer, 
install Windows 10, and then you can upgrade to 11 if you want. Let's go ahead and accept this. I don't need to name my computer, but you can name it whatever you want. Go ahead and set this up for personal use, unless you know if you're gonna set it up for school or work. Now go ahead and add your Microsoft account. If you don't have one, you can go ahead and create one, but I already have one, so I'll go ahead and log in. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this up as a new device. Again, if you had Windows 10, you wouldn't need to log into any sort of Hotmail account. I'm gonna go ahead and set this up. I like to include letters and symbols and just do ASDF, ASDF. It's really quick, better than numbers. Now for all of these privacy settings, I click every single one of them off. That's just extra background processes you don't want running on your computer. I don't care about any of this customized experience. I'm gonna hit skip and I don't care about using Android with this computer. I don't want a free trial of Windows 365 and I don't want an additional 100 gigabytes of OneDrive and I don't need Game Pass. You can skip all of these for the moment. And with that, you are basically done and you're free to use Windows on your brand new gaming PC. Your computer might reboot, but just let it do its thing and you are basically all good to go from here. And there you have it. That's how you can install Windows on a fresh new gaming PC. And once again, I wanna give a thank you to VIP SD Key for sponsoring this video and for providing cheap and affordable Windows 10 and 11 keys, which you can check out using the link at the top of the description. And don't forget to use my discount code VIP Scatter for a percentage off. If you enjoy tutorial videos like this for PC gaming and PC building, probably wanna to subscribe to the Scatterable channel. And if you've enjoyed what you've seen so far, a like would be appreciated. So with all that said, thank you so much for watching and this is the Scatterable channel signing out.